What's up everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today I want to speak about creatives and how to lower your CPC because at the end of the day when it comes to ads, the less that it costs you to acquire a client, the more chance you're going to be profitable and that's what you want at the end of the day. You want to be profitable. So if you can spend $1 and make $3 back, then you're winning. You just need to, to you just need to do more of that in order to make hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you're baby uh, basically set. But it seems simple, but it is not that simple. And people, when it comes to creative, it's kind of complicated. What I mean by complicated is they don't things, they don't do the things the right way, and that's what I'm going to explain to you guys today. I have a few products that I want to show you guys that are currently running and they have multiple ads uh, that are active. As you can see, 117 ads that are active, 351 ads, 50 ads, and 100 ads. So what does that mean? It means they're profitable. Obviously, they're profitable. But at the end of the day, are they super profitable? I cannot know that. I don't know how much uh, you know they spend on ads, I don't know how much a client costs, but why I do know after testing multiple things is there are certain things that will lower your CPC and there's other things that will make your CPC go to the roof. And that's not what you want because at the end of the day, if let's say you have a cost um, per purchase of $10 and it costs you 30 cent to acquire a visitor, but now it costs you 60 cent to acquire a visitor. It doesn't seem much. It's still 60 cent, but you've just doubled the cost of acquisition, uh, acquisition of a customer. And that's not what you want. You want to lower it as much as possible because if not, your sales will be impacted and your you know cost to acquire a client can go from 10 to 20 to 30 and up until you're no longer profitable because you cannot handle and control the CPC, the cost per click. So how can you lower that? Well, at the end of the day, in order to have a lower CPC is you need to make people click on your ad. You need to make them interested to go on your website. That's what you want. That's what a CPC stands for. So what do you want to do is you want to look at those type of ads and Guys, you need to understand that you need to put the shoes of your customer. You need to put the shoes of your customer. So when you're looking at those products right here and you're looking at those ads, look, at the end of the day, uh, there's multiple videos about my brother showing you how to find a winning product. If you want to know more about what is a winning product and what we considered as a good product, then you can watch his videos. But me right now, I want to speak about the CPC. How can you lower it? And it looks like people, what do they do is they do not sit down firstly and analyze their ads. They just do the things that they think it's good or cute or, but they actually don't look at it as a customer perspective. Let me tell you something. Let's say you look at this ads and you're like, okay, well, it's speak about the percentage of, um, it's because about the product, like payment processors, everything. So we're like, you know, it's it's a decent ad. But this is where you're wrong. Because a lot of people critique this ad as, you know, personal critique. It's like, well, I've done a good job. That's not how you should look at things. You should tell yourself, okay, if I'm a customer that doesn't know anything about dropshipping, will I buy from this ad? And let me tell you something. People... They don't like emojis like that. They, they look, it's just full of emojis. This will make your CPC go higher. I'm not saying that you could put one or two emojis that looks cute or that fits, you know, with the products. I'm not saying that it's going to, you know, increase your CPC. But if you have too many emojis, too many of something, it's just not going to do well. You know, if you... Let's say uh, run well, one mile, it's not going to do anything. But if you run 100 miles and you're not prepared, it's going to hurt you. Same thing for basically everything in life. If you have enough of something, it's good. But if you have too much of something, it ends up not being good. So that's the first thing that you want. The second thing is, you know, I like the simple of the sentence. But again, they're just not going straight 
to the point, like go straight to the point, like look at all those PayPal, like don't speak about credit card. Let them go on your website and see like what payment they can have. Don't, don't write this here. What you should do is simple. Write a simple line about the product with one emojis, two at most. Uh, on here, I wouldn't even put emojis. I would put the offer and that's it. Speak about the product up here and speak about the offer up here. And I'm showing, you know, this on Facebook, obviously, because I can see we can see that those ads are profitable. Those ads are making money. And I can show you, you know, like I, like I can speak about those type of ads. But you can do the same thing on TikTok. Keep things simple. Don't put too many emojis, too many things. You need to keep things clean. If you don't do that, then it's going to be a big mess. And as you can see right here, let's look at this other product. So 315 one ads. So this person is making money. So I think it's the same seller. They have multiple ads of different product. I believe it's a general store. So good strategy. It's the same thing that we use. But as you can see, this person, look, 315 one ads. Don't let pests bother you. Let solar, uh, rat repeller protect your garden and farmland. So as you can see, this product right here is going to repel all those things. And he kept it simple, pretty simple. And as you can see, they're having more ads, more simple, more ads. Is that a coincidence? I don't believe so. Now you can, you know, argue me and tell me, well, this may be more of a winning product, bigger of a winning product than your other product. I could argue you're correct. But at the end of the day, I know that if you keep things simple, that's what people want. Here, I will put, you know, they didn't speak about the offer at all, like 50% off, 60% off. They didn't speak about any guarantee, any free shipping, anything like that. So, you know, they're missing. They're missing on a lot of clients that will, you know, interact with the shop now button if they have more you know, more information. So still good. And again, why am I showing those active ads right here is that I'm telling you, you don't need to be perfect in order to make money. And in dropshipping, nothing needs to be perfect in order to make money. Obviously, if you want to make more and be highly profitable, and instead of making 10, 15%, you want to make maybe a 40% profit, then what you need to do is, you know, to uh, work on those little details. But in order to make money, then nothing needs to be perfect. Now let's look, you know, at, at this one right here. So this is kind of an old product. So I understand that they only have 50 ads, but still, you know, they're profitable. Buy one, get one free, plus free delivery. Okay, they speak about the offer right here. But again, I would put, I think it's like two junked up, like two junked up. I would put like, you know, buy one, get one free here. Maybe speak about the free, free shipping uh, right here. I will keep it simple. I will keep it simple. And at the end of the day, those ads work. That's what I'm telling you. And I'm showing you this. Those ads works. Those ads are making money. And if you want to lower your CPC, just keep things simple. Don't try to overdo it. Keep things simple. Speak about the benefits of the product, the angles, different angles of the product. And speak about the offer down here. And that's pretty much it. Same thing with TikTok, you know, put the video, speak about the benefits of it and down below, uh, you know, the dynamic button where it will say shop, learn now, everything, then just put the offer. Something clean, something simple, nothing crazy. As you can see, 100 ads on here too. And on here, he kept it simple too, but there are some things missing. So what I want to show is, as you can see, this ad is far from being perfect, to be honest, but it's still bringing money. Those ads are better, but are still far from being perfect, but they're bringing money. So why do I mean is don't overthink what you're doing at first, unless you're making money. When you're making money, you can do those tweaks that I'm saying in order to improve. But at first, what you want to do is see, am I having, you know, consistent results? If I'm having consistent results, then yes you want to work more on those things that I'm saying. But at first, please, guys, don't get caught up uh, on those little things unless you're making money. But yes, in order, let's get back to what we were saying and what we were supposed to talk about. If you want to lower your CPC, you need to put um, the customer shoes and you need to see like, okay, if I was in their footstep, would I buy this product? If it's no, 
then you have a lot of work to do. So change the things, make it simple, make it professional, and that's it. That's what you want. You don't need anything more. And as you can see, simple, professional, simple, professional, simple, for professional, too spammy. Does it, even though if it's simple and professional, does it still need work on? Absolutely. But it's still more simple and professional than this one. So look, that's the thing. Ads like this, Facebook, Facebook don't like it. The customers don't like it. So you're getting into a battle between Facebook, between your customers. Okay, maybe you have a winning product that is making sales and this ad right here works like for this man right here. But if it's working and it's making you money, then try to work more on, you know, making things better. Because at the end of the day, it's not about just making money. It's about doing things the right way so you can scale more and make more money um, on your products. Because if you're not doing it things the right way, then it's definitely not going to last a long time. And this is where people come to us and they say, Gilberto, Hansel, um, I have made a few thousand dollars in dropshipping, but nothing crazy. What am I doing wrong? And the two common mistakes inside of the dropshipping world is either you're not making profit, so you're getting too much in love with a product and you're focusing on dead products, or they're not making a huge amount of profit per product. And this is pro probably because they have things like this and they're not working on uh, keeping things simple, straight to the point with a great offer. And that's it. So yeah, guys, this is the video of today. Hopefully you understood. Hopefully you can all lower your CPC and make sure that you go from breaking even, slightly profitable to highly profitable. So this is the video of today. Wish you all an amazing rest of the day. Take care and peace.